Greetings. For the next 10 days of Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom, you're going to take a journey with me to Denver, Colorado. That's where I was last week for the Toastmasters International Convention. I had an opportunity that most people don't get, and I very, feel very privileged to have done this. I got to interview five previous world champions of public speaking, some who've gone on to extremely successful careers in the professional world. And in these interviews, I picked up some great insight, not into just speaking or being a champion, but life lessons that have helped them become champions, not just on stage, but off. As an added bonus, you're going to hear from the newly crowned 2019 world champion of public speaking. He's such a dynamic young man. He, he's so humble and he is a true champion in every sense of the word. You'll also pick up some other insights I've gained over the five days. So enjoy these next week and a half of videos. And we're going to start today with my interview with my friend Jim Key, the 2003 world champion of public speaking. Enjoy. Hey, I'm back here in Denver with my friend Jim Key. Jim is the 2003 world champion of public speaking. He's also the only world champion to ever finish second the two years before he won. <laughs> and what we're going to talk about, welcome Jim. Thanks, Thanks, well, good to see you again. Thanks, Mike. Um, what we want to talk about today is after 2002 is when I met you. Right. You had real reservations about trying to go through the process again because it was it was tough. A lot of yes. us said, man, he, he should have won and you hear all that. But what was it between 2002 and three that you said, all right, I'm going to do it one more time? Well, for me, the, the reason that I found that compelled me to get into the contest again had to do with my children. Um, I know that, I knew at the time that there were going to be times in their lives when things happened that were uh, harsh or they may think as unfair and I knew that they needed to have an example of the proper way to respond in those situations and rather than just you know, give up and quit and swear off ever can, uh, competing again I thought this was a way that I could exemplify for them the right approach uh, to, to take and to, to rededicate myself to the process and pour all that time and effort back in to, to the process. Um, whether or not, you're very kind to say the whole thing about, you know, I thought I should have won, but I think that things happen for the right time, at the, at the, for, for the right reason at the right time. And I think I needed to grow and go through the process again, and I'm glad that everything turned out the way that it did. So this isn't a speaking lesson, this is a life lesson. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, because regardless of who you are or what you face, there are going to be times when things happen you didn't expect. They may be harsh, they may be difficulties, maybe things you don't think are fair. You have to be prepared to recalibrate yourself and you know, keep keep going. Absolutely. And the video is available on YouTube, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, my yeah, championship so, yeah, video. I'm going to put a link there. below this video to that. Go watch it. Also, go watch 2002, 2001. I think they're available. Mm -hmm. Not one, not two, but three great messages from my friend, world champion, Mr. Jim Key. Always good to see you, my friend. Thanks, Mike. Good to see you.